Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishal. I hope you all are doing well. So in this video, I'll talk about MTech thesis on MTech project and why it is important. So I hope you all know that if you if you want to do your MTech from any IITs or IIC, as a part of that curriculum, you have to do a MTech project in your final year under some guide on a research topic and it will be mostly a research project that means you have to do some sort of research in that project you have to solve an open problem and if you can successfully do that maybe at the end of your mtech project you will get a you know publication out of it now what i have seen you know from my times during my mtech at isc or even after that when i'm doing my phd at iit kharagpur that typically when students uh, join this institution like IITs or ISC, they have a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of energy and they think that they will be doing a lot of research as a part of their MTech project. But what happens, you know, after two years, after two semesters, first semester and second semester, when they do a lot of coursework and when they handle a lot of pressures, a lot of hectic uh, schedule in the, in, the, in the coursework, they started feeling exhausted and by the end of the first year, you know, students started thinking that, okay, we have done a lot of coursework, now let's have a job and then get, up, get out of this IITs or ISC and finish the MTech. So that's why, you know, at the end of the first year, when you have to start your MTech project, most of the MTech students, you know, they lost that, you know, motivation or enthusiasm and their focus, you know, that time used to be like, just take a, take a job and then finish the MTech. And there is no harm in it. I mean, it's okay. I mean, if you don't do any work, then also your MTech will be finished. Maybe your grade will be hampered a bit, but you know, it's it's not that much. You'll be getting a decent amount of grade even if you don't do anything. But you know, if you take your MTech project very seriously, there are a lot of benefits that you'll get. And that I'm going to discuss in this video that what are the benefits that you'll be getting if you complete your MTech projects, uh, you know, with utmost priority. And if you can get out of a, get out a publication out of it, there will be a lot of advantage during your MTech days in, in a particular institution and even beyond that. After your MTech also, you'll be getting a lot of benefits. So that I'm going to discuss in this video. So if you want to know detail about it, please stay tuned with this video uh, till the end. And before starting the video, I always say, if you like this video, please like it and share this video to other people so that many people get to know about it. And if you are new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever I upload a video, you'll get instant notification. Without further ado, let's get starting to today's video. Now, first of all, you have to understand that why MTech project is important. So I hope you all know this MTech or MSc, this master's level course, these are specialized course. After your bachelor's, uh, you do this master's level course to be a specialist in a particular subdomain. So suppose if you're coming for computer science, at the end of MTech, you are expected to do a specialization on a specific skill set or specific subdomain. Like maybe you, you, you can go for theory, you can go for system, you can go for intelligence system. These three border sub level is there. And even in intelligence systems also, there are many other subdomain. Like you can go for normal machine learning, uh, you can go for natural language processing, you can go for computer vision. So there are a lot of subdomain that is there. And at the end of MTech, you know, industry expect that you are a specialist on a particular subdomain. And based on that, your future career will be decided. So that's why, you know, if you don't take this MTech project with utmost priority, uh, you won't gain any specialization from your MTech because MTech project is the only, you know, opportunity to be a specialist in a particular domain because in the first semester, you'll be doing only courses. So that is a broader aspect of your, uh, of your course. But in the second semester, when you will be doing your MTech project, you will go deep into a particular subdomain and you will exp explore all the things that is related to that particular subdomain. So that's why it's very important that if you want to do a specialization on a particular direction or particular sub area, then you have to do a lot of hard work as a part of your MTech project or MTech thesis. I'll tell you what are the benefits that you'll get if you do your MTech project seriously with your MTech guide. The first benefit that you'll get is during your placement, that is the on-campus placement that happens uh, on your institutions. So typically on-campus placement happen uh, in the first week of December. And if you start your MTech project like around May on June, then you have a decent amount of time, like around six months you'll be having uh, to do some work as a part of your MTech project before your placement. And that work you can showcase during your placement. Now, I have seen many, you know, product-based companies, they used to do CV shortlisting. Uh, they don't take any written test or, you know, any uh, kind of MCQ-based test uh, before the interview. So, they, they used to see your CV and based on that, they used to shortlist for your interview. And if you have a good MTech project in your CV, then your chance of getting selected for that particular company for the latter rounds of interview is higher. 
like i can share my experience during uh, uh, my mtech in iisc so during my time flipkart and mintra uh, they they did the short uh, cv shortlisting and in both the both of the company i got selected because my cv was strong and i was doing a decent amount of work by then as a part of a part of my mtech project and many other students also got selected because of the same reason because they are doing a you know good mtech project as a part of their mtech thesis so that's why if you are doing a decent amount of if you have already done a decent amount of work before your placement that's a added bonus for you and even you know during your interview round also in in those companies if you have some work as a part of your mtech thesis people will ask you questions from there that's a added advantage for you because you are already working in that domain and if 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 you are really you know working hard uh, on on your mtech project then you might be knowing all the all the things that is happening as a part of your mtech project and it's easier for you to answer those questions and on the other hand suppose if you if you haven't done anything as a part of your mtech project then what happen is that you know interviewer can ask you random questions from anywhere and that's difficult to answer so that's why if you have done some work as a part of your mtech that actually helps you to get a good program good job in some good product based company secondly if you are looking for a off campus placement then also your mtech uh, project plays a very crucial role so suppose you, you didn't get a good job uh, as, as, as from your from your on campus placement and you are looking for a off campus placement in big companies like amazon flipkart linkedin and all now in off campus there will be lot of rounds there there are more rounds than uh, on campus placement and another round is a presentation round or a ppt round where you have to present your mtech thesis work in front of their you know employees now suppose you are working in a very really exciting domain or really exciting problem that even that company is also interested then you know during your presentations lot of people will be presented and maybe some other teams that is there in that company who is also working in the similar domain they will be also attending your talk and they will be asking you questions at the end of the talk and you know if you have really done some good work as a part of your mtech project you will be able to answer you know their questions because you know quite some time you have worked on the similar domain so you will have some expertise on that domain and that is a very you know very nice opportunity for you to impress those teams uh, which is which are also working in a similar domain and if they have some requirement they might think about you because you know if you if you can answer all of their questions they will be impressed and they will they will have an you know understanding that you are you have done a lot of work in this domain and if they recruit you in their team that will be helpful for them and even if they if they recruit you you will have an opportunity to work in the similar domain so you'll be extending your mtech thesis work in that company also so overall you know it will help you both in the you know both cracking that particular uh, interview and even in the future life when you'll be joining that company and working in that team so that's why if you are looking for a off campus placements also having a good mtech thesis or mtech projects always give you an edge now thirdly if you are looking for a research role in some r&d lab then your your responsibility is even more i mean then you have to take uh, your mtech project with the most priority i mean you have to do a lot of work uh, in your mtech project so that you can get a, at least a publication out of your mtech project because those interviews that is for the research role in different r&d labs like you know like microsoft research or google research you know their interview is fully focused on the research topic that you have worked on so they will ask you all the minute details that is there on that particular research topic or that direction and they will check not only your knowledge about the broader area also they will they will see your you know how how your research mind has been developed you know how yeah you you are you are looking for a particular problem to to solve that particular problem how you are getting the idea that which direction to explore and also all the things that is related to research that I, that they will check uh, during your interview so that's why if you're looking for a research role in this big r&d labs then you have to consider your mtech project as utmost priority you have to do a lot of hard work so that you can get a publication out of it in some good conference or journal and that will obviously give you an edge uh, for for your selection now last and final thing is that if you are if you are willing to pursue higher studies like if you are willing to pursue phd after your mtech Uh, from some foreign university or from india also you know then i hope you all know that mtech project should be your highest priority uh, because mtech project is the only only way to get a publication out of your mtech and you know not only that i mean you will learn the process of uh, doing research uh, throughout the year 
uh, while doing your mtech thesis or mtech project so that this will be your first experience of doing research so those one year is very important because you learn ho the whole process of research as a part of your mtech thesis and obviously if you can do it uh, correctly you will get a publication from from some top tier conference or journal uh, at the end of your mtech uh, mtech mtech research work or mtech project work and i hope you all know nowadays not only in us or foreign universities even in india also you know phds are getting very much competitive and that's why if you have a publication out of your mtech that always helps you because whenever you will be appearing for the interviewer uh, interview uh, if the interviewer see that you have some publication you always have an edge so they will always give you some priority because you have some prior experience of doing uh, research and not only that you know even after joining for phd if you want, want some kind of scholarships like in india for pmrf scholarships if you want to apply for that having a paper in mtech always helps you yeah so that's it guys that's it about this video so i have discussed in this video that why mtech project is important because i have seen many students many mtech students they don't take mtech project uh, seriously and they just complete it for the sake of complete uh, completeness they focus on the placement and once placement is done they kind of give up i mean they just think that okay let's uh, finish it somehow and complete the mtech degree but if you can successfully do your mtech project and if you can get a publication out of it it's actually helpful for you for your future life so that's why i have discussed about it in this video and the next video i'll talk talk about that how you can make your mtech project successfully what are the steps that you have to follow so that you know you can take proper steps from the day one so that at the end of your mtech uh, mtech curriculum you you can get a uh, mtech a paper at least a paper from some conferences from your mtech project so that i'm going to discuss in the next video so please stay tuned and if you like this video please like it and share this video to other people also so that they also get to know about it and if you're new to this particular channel i'm again saying uh, please go through my channel and if you found my channel is helpful for you please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever i upload a video you'll get instant notification that's it about this video i'll be meeting in the next video until then bye